education really should be about what we can do to set people up for success. If we can support after-school programs throughout the educational system. We are going to set more kids up for success. We are going to make them more successful academically, socially, and hopefully lead to better things in their life. After-school programs save lives. They do because they offer these children a place to be, a safe place to be. They offer these children a place where they can get nourishment for both their minds and their bodies. They offer these children a place where they can stretch beyond what they ever thought was possible. It really gives kids a chance. I'd like to tell you about a kid named Adrian Diaz. He was our Turnaround Achievement Award winner last year. He's actually our after school award uh, recipient as well. Here was a kid that was in gangs, who was down a path that was very dark, that was gonna lead him somewhere probably, in his own words, was an early grave. Because of his involvement with us, the after school program, and even uh, Fields of Faith, he was able to turn his life around to a situation where he's doing remarkably well. He's now getting A's. He is a sophomore playing football and his goal is to get a college scholarship to play football in college. The education goal is that we increase the number of boys and girls who are finishing high school on time. If they never finish high school, they will earn around $648,000 in a lifetime less than if they had finished. They are four times as likely to be incarcerated. The research tells us that investing in kids to remediate problems early in life is actually a tremendous economic benefit. If, if a child gets involved in gangs and crime, what is that costing? $45,000 a year for every person that's in prison? Much better if we could have that person working a job and paying taxes and owning a house and shopping and contributing to the local economy. This is an investment. It's an investment in your community. It's an investment in your kids, which is, seems a no-brainer for, for most communities. All of a sudden, I'm, instead of seeing frowns and an attitude where they hate school, I'm starting to see smiles. It's like, hey, I can do this stuff. I've seen it over and over and over. The smile on their face, the amazing difference we have seen in some of these students in the classroom. They have found their little spark that helps them have a purpose. We have for 10 years provided after school tutoring, homework assistance, reteaching, small group reteaching, grade level reteaching, working on the core. My best experience in after school program is getting caught up on work so I can get good grades in class. They're gaining the confidence that they need to take those high stake tests. I think I get better grades in the after school program because you actually have people to help you with your school work. I know that after school saves some of these kids' lives. I witness kids today. And we tell them every day, you can do it. You stretch a little bit harder, you do a little bit more, and we're going to get you there. And by the way, we're going to walk with you the whole way. That's the beauty of an after school program. We started this new thing this year called Check Your Own Learning. Um, a lot of kids like it because um, it really makes them think. In the folder we have homework assistance, grade level reteaching, skill-based learning, um, also known as tutoring, inquiry-based science, technology, engineering, math, projects, career readiness activity, mentoring, and service learning and wellness activity. We went from almost 40% to almost 60% in free and reduced rates and our scores continue to, to climb. I think that if we want to make sure that every child can read by third grade and that we don't have kids dropping out, we need after school. I've been advocating for this after school program for all kids. In my opinion at junior high, every kid is at risk. Uh, we have a high population of students that are um, on free and reduced lunch here. Well, students are under some pressure, and when they're under pressure, they may not perform academically. They may not get along well with their peers. They might have not gotten enough sleep the night before because they could have been hungry all night. They may not have gotten breakfast. Statistics and data also say that if you don't have a good breakfast, your brain doesn't have enough energy to make the connections that it needs to sustain throughout the morning until lunch. If they didn't have the after school program, they'd be at risk of running the street. They would be at risk of maybe getting into trouble. I work in a community outside of Wakan that does not offer this, and a lot of their parents over there can't believe what we have in this community. Before we came here, my daughter was behind, and since she's been here, she's been 
dynamite. She's been talking about being a doctor now. It's just the best. <laughs> the support we've gotten in our community is unparalleled, in my opinion. I've been a lot of places. We don't have a big manufacturer here. We don't have a lot of franchise companies that can put money to our school. What we do have is we have people that care and people that understand that education is a tool that will level the playing field for our community. We work with the University of Northern Ohio. We work with the Cedar Falls Rec Department. Our other junior high in town we're very collaborative with. Um, we have the Boys Club, the Girls Club, the YMCA. All those things are working together to help support our kids. Bringing in all of these partners, you do reduce the cost because 70% of the cost of an after-school program is staffing. That is really what's required is the partnership with the local school district, the partnership with local um, organizations, institutions, private sector, public sector, and that last piece is the partnership with the state. It would be nice if we could take care of the needs of all the children in Iowa. Right now, I think we're at 12% of kids getting those services. This is important for the state of Iowa because we want kids to have every opportunity to excel. Council Bluffs Community Schools had a 21st century grant for five years. Um, we served children in four different sites, and we've applied for a continuing grant, and we haven't gotten it. Um, this year, we had to tell all of the children that were in that program last year that we didn't have free services for them after school. Now we try to piece together some things. I don't want you to think that we just say, okay, we quit. We really try, but every time you're trying to piece things together and you don't have a funding source that you know is going to continue at least for a certain amount of years, you are spending a lot of your energy and time figuring out what you're going to do next. I would recommend this program for several reasons. One, the academic help. Also, I think it gave them opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have. I just hope that they keep funding this program, and, and I can't say enough good things about it. It's a wonderful program, and it's a place my child wants to go. When I go to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. A lot of times the kids cry. They don't want to leave. They want to stay and do the activities that they're doing, and sometimes the parents have to go and come back. They're learning, they don't know they're learning, they're just having fun. To watch them grow and develop with the, with the structure that they can get in an after school program, it's, it's, it warms my heart and that's why I'm in it. Programs that help support what we do during the school day help us change children's lives for good and we need that help.